former White House economic advisor Steve Moore joining us this morning. We want to talk about the consumer price index as well as these new inflation numbers. My goodness, Steve, 6.8 percent increase from one year ago. Again, the highest year to year jump in nearly 40 years. What's your thoughts? So uh, it's kind of an interesting situation. You know, you do have out of control inflation right now, no question about it. And and it is really driven by gas prices and food prices, which are volatile, but, but they're volatile right now on, in an upward direction. And everybody who goes to the gas pump, feels that every time they fill up their tank. Um, so I'm very concerned about that, Jan. And I don't see it. Remember a couple months ago when we were talking about this, the whole uh, the word that was used was transitory, that it was going to be temporary and that by now inflation would be subsiding. And now it looks like it's actually picking up momentum. So I'm very worried about that. On the jobs front, you know, the jobs picture is pretty good. If you're looking for a job right now, it's really good. There's 11 million job openings today in the country, Jan. Anybody who has a useful skill, whether you're an electrician or you're a nurse or you're a bookkeeper uh, or you're a construction worker, you can find the jobs out there. The big problem on that side of the aisle is small businesses are having a tough time getting workers back on the job. So I think that's a quick snapshot of where the economy is right now. We're going to talk about that momentarily here, but I want to ask you, this this inflation number could this now lay the groundwork for hikes and near zero percent interest rates perhaps uh, as early as spring i mean this is this is unprecedented it sure, could. it sure could we will see i mean the federal reserve board obviously has the control of the money supply that you're exactly right Jan. they've held those uh those um interest rates way very low at near zero as you just said for a long time i, I would advocate the Fed moving away from that policy and, and starting to get ahead of the curve on this inflation because they've been behind the curve. The other thing that the Fed is doing is buying up massive amounts of assets. For example, the Fed is buying up tens of billions of dollars of mortgage-backed securities each month. Well, why are they doing that, Jan? We have a hot uh, housing market right now. We don't want to see another bubble in the housing market right. like we saw in 2008 and 2009. I'm a little bit concerned that the Fed is actually adding uh, you know, flames to that ho right. housing market and it might crash. One other quick point, uh, how does this play into the whole debate about the Build Back Better you know, three to four trillion dollar spending bill? And I know at the, in the White House right now, I'm sure they're wincing because what this is saying is adding a lot of additional debt and government spending right now is going to probably make inflation worse, not better. Yeah, and that's exactly what we don't need. On top of that, I want to ask you about this because we talked about all the job openings. Right now, we have 11 million yep. job openings in this country. Weekly jobless claims did fall to 184,000. That is a 52-year low. But when you combine that with all these openings, hiring mm -hmm. is still a big issue, as you mentioned. So what do these numbers tell you about an economic recovery? We had a report this morning, Steve, that 40% of people in one state, in Rhode Island, are staying home, so they've just taken themselves out of the out of the job pool, out of the out of the jobs altogether. I mean, they're not even they they're just sitting at home. Yeah, and think about this: it's been two years now, so you have a lot of workers who have been out of the labor force for two years, collecting government benefits like food stamps and rental assistance and and unemployment benefits and child subsidies, and and we got to start to examine whether we should have you know more strict work requirements to get these benefits. You know, we all want a safety net for people. But to encourage people to stay home, that's not what we want. We want people to get back on the job to become productive uh, workers. Um, I think this is this has got to be resolved. The other factor is um, we're just starting all of this talk about vaccine mandates. And we all know people who say, look, if they're going to mandate me to get a vaccine for one reason. And by the way, I'm not against the vaccine. I'm not an anti-vaxxer. But this may have we're seeing problems right now with hospitals with police forces, with fire forces, uh, people leaving the job because they don't want to get vaccinated. We have to really think about whether that's a, a wise policy right now when we already have a, a labor shortage. So do you think this this could be more stimulus now coming coming down the pipe? I mean, is this is this an end to stimulus when you take a look at the inflation rate right now? Because that's how we're seeing inflation go up, right? More demand, yeah, not yeah. enough supply? Yeah, it's a great question. I, I've been saying for many months that the, the worst thing you can do right now, if you're concerned about these rising prices, and I remember in the 1970s, I was a teenager back then. And I remember every time you went to the store, everything was higher and higher and the inflation kept getting worse and worse. And that's what cost Jimmy Carter the election against Ronald Reagan was the out of control inflation. So let's not spend, I, I'm with uh, 
Joe Manchin, the Democrat from West Virginia, said, let's have a, a, a strategic pause right now before we spend all this money, see what's going to happen with the economy and whether all this spending is needed, because I think it could fan the flames of inflation rather than reduce it. And very quickly, what other uh, parts of the monetary policy from the feds do you think they need to take a look at right now to try and get this out of control inflation uh, somehow under control? What did you say? What do they have yeah. to do? What, what other parts of the monetary policy do you think that the feds need to do right now, aside from maybe, you know, making sure yeah. we're not doing more stimulus and, and, yeah. and well, these people uh, sitting the at home not working? Is, right. No, so on the Federal Reserve side, they have to just get control of the money supply. I mean, inflation is too many dollars chasing too few goods. And what these inflation reports are telling us, Jan, is that government is pushing too much money into the economy. And that doesn't work very well. We don't want to become Argentina in Bolivia and uh, Venezuela. On the fiscal side, just stop spending. We've already spent $3 trillion of additional money this year with, remember, the $1.9 trillion uh, spending bill that passed back in March, and then they just passed a $1.1 trillion infrastructure bill. I'm not so sure that the economy needs another $3 trillion right now. Uh, I think now would be a good time to just wait. Put it on pause. We have a lot of money slashing around in the economy. Let's get Americans back to work. And then I think we can have a really solid recovery. It'll be interesting to see what happens in the next few weeks here uh, on Capitol Hill. Steve, always great to see you. Thanks for joining us this morning. Have a you great too. weekend. You too. Thank you.